Every day, the kids at Homedale Elementary bust out of the lunchroom and hustle to recess to walk. Yes, to walk. Walking is not as fun as playing football with your buddies. And Dan Moore's not the bitter football coach. He started the Homedale Walking Club to cut down on playground trouble, encouraging kids to walk and talk out their problems. 11 years later, and Dan's watched both his school's environment and its kids grow healthier by walking farther. Once I walk, I feel that some, something later on, I'm, I'm going to lose all my fatness and then I'm going to grow more muscle. And once I grow, then I get stronger. This fall, the Walk and Talk and Trojans celebrate a major milestone, 100,000 miles. That's more than four times the distance around the Earth and nearly halfway to the moon paced out on a track in Homedale, Idaho. Our community has done a lot in it, and it means that we exercise more, more and more each day so it can be more healthy. And after 11 years, there are now kids at every level of schooling here in Homedale who were once walkers and talkers. Dan hopes that those kids send their kids here and they become walk and talking Trojans too. I'm very proud. This is one of the most biggest things I've accomplished in life. Ten-year-old Julia Gomez has a lot more life to which to look forward. She excels in reading and trust us talks just as well as she walks. She also already knows what she wants to be when she grows up. Probably a teacher or a phys ed teacher. That statement might make Julia's phys ed teacher smile, but not as much as the next proclamation out of Julia's mouth. I think we might be the healthiest school in America. And as more Trojans walk and talk their way to high school and beyond, Homedale moves closer to becoming the healthiest community in America, one step at a time. Matt King, Fox 9 News at 9. Thank <laughs> you.